In developing news in Washington, two Congress people working hard to convince the members of their party that they're the right man for House Speaker. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise and House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan are fighting to succeed House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, of course. Marla's here with that. Thank you, you two. Yes, House Maj Majority Leader Steve Scalise, he's pitching himself as a leader who can best unite the party. But Scalise does not have the powerful endorsement of former President Donald Trump. House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan has that backing, and it's winning him support from other Republicans. If that's what the leader of our party thinks is the right thing to do, I will support that, and that's now uh, why I'm behind Jim Jordan for speaker. The rest of us Oklahoma Republican Congressman Kevin Hearn could also run, though he has yet to formally announce. As for Jim Jordan himself, you see him there working the phones. He insists he is the best person for the job. We shouldn't have to go through what we did back in January. I'm all for that. I think I can bring our team together to accomplish that. I've got a long proven record as somebody who knows how to unify Republicans to fight on the battles that matter for the families who gave us this majority. That's of course Steve Scalise. House Republicans will host a candidate forum on Tuesday and a closed party election Wednesday. There's no timeline for electing a speaker on the House floor. That means there's a chance we might not see a floor vote for a while. Meanwhile, the 45-day stopgap spending bill that averted a government shutdown will end November 17th. Lawmakers must pass another spending bill before then to avoid a shutdown.